we understand that there's a possibility that the seven-year-old nephew, Julian King, uh, may have been found dead this morning. I say that's a possibility because what you're looking at is video of the white SUV that belonged to Jennifer Hudson's brother, one of the two people who were murdered on Friday. Uh, the police have been looking for this white SUV all weekend because they believe that perhaps the nephew who had been missing since the murders was with someone in that white SUV. They found this SUV now about 14 miles away from the murder scene, from the Hudson family home. And we have confirmed here at CNN with the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office that a uh, person or people from the Medical Examiner's Office are going to that car right now based on a report from a WLS uh, TV station and from the Chicago Tribune newspaper that there is the body of a child in that car. That much we have not confirmed, but we do know, Heidi, that the Medical Examiner's Office would not go out on something like this if they did not believe there was somebody in that SUV. Heidi? Boy, uh, obviously we're still trying to get information on all of this as we do see the police now and possibly the medical examiners that uh, Susan has mentioned to us going to that vehicle, that white uh, SUV there. Uh, Susan, we also know that someone is in custody. William Balfour is in custody. Are police saying anything at this point about any connection to this portion uh, of the crime? Not specifically to the finding of the SUV and the possible body of the nephew, uh, Julian King. They have held William Balfour since Friday night as a person of interest, but then they would have had to release him last night because he wasn't formally charged and they weren't formally naming him as a suspect, and they have not yet named him as a suspect. So the Cook County, the Illinois Department of Corrections, excuse me, Heidi, has taken William Balfour into custody now on a parole violation because the Chicago police did not have enough evidence to charge him as a suspect in this case. So uh, he is, as far as we know, still just a person of interest in this case. 